back to another video. I hope you're all doing okay. Today I'm going to be doing a bit of a mix match video. So I'm going to be doing an acrylic infill but also doing a little bit of Valentine's Day sets kind of nail art. Um, and then I'm also going to be showing you the new drill bit collection from Nobu and um, because basically I've used these in the video so I've just kind of talked you through those what I use them for because we do get quite a few questions on the drill bit collection and um, obviously what's included and um, what the bits are used for etc so I've just basically covered that in this video and also done an acrylic infill and some Valentine's Day nail art um, so yeah I hope you enjoy the video and as per if you have any questions or anything just drop them down in the comments and I will come back to you So I'm just going to quickly show you uh, the drill bit collection that I'm going to be using in this video. So this is what they come like in one of these little frosted bags. Um, and then they come in these little plastic boxes with some sanding bands and the mandrel in that one. So let me just open this up and I'll show you how they look. Um, so like I say, this is the first one. So this has got the sanding band mandrel and the sanding bands in there. And then in this other one, we have the barrel bit at the bottom and the uh, cuticle bit, the five in one and then the ball bit as well. So this is just how they come. I thought I would just give you guys um, a little bit of a look as um, to what to expect um, if you guys order any. So this is what they look like at the moment. So obviously there is a little bit of growth that I'm just going to uh, take care of in an infill. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is just going in with my um, e-file bit from Nobu Salon Supplies. So, so this is the flame bit that I'm going to go in and basically push back the cuticles and um, just take care of those. I literally swear by this bit. I use it all the time. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to start off by doing that. Then I'm going to go in with my ball bit, which is also part of the um, Nobu Sound Supplies collection. So I've mainly just worked on the cuticle area. I'm just going to go in next with the barrel bit and I'm just going to take down um, the shine and the design off the acrylic. Obviously you can do that first. Um, it's just kind of preference really. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do that now.
So there is all the acrylic uh, filed down. So I'm just gonna go in with my cuticle nippers and just get rid of some of the dead cuticle. Next, what I'm going to do is I've just grabbed our sanding band mandrel. Um, again, all these bits are no boos. Um, I've just grabbed the sanding band mandrel and I'm just going to neaten up the cuticle area. Now I'm just going to grab one of our 100-100 files and just neaten up the shape. So now that the shape's neatened up, I'm just going to go in with some dehydrator and primer and just cover the grown out areas. And there we go. That is all ready for um, the infill application, which I'm going to use Pink Opal by Glitter Bells. Now, as these haven't grown out too much, I'm not going to go in with a huge bead. I'm just going to pick up a small bead and just place that a few millimetres away from the cuticle. Just push it back into uh, the cuticle area and just swipe that down. Just making sure I tidy up around the cuticle just to make sure there's no flooding or anything. And just go back and tap that into place. So there we go, it's applied. I'll just let that dry now before I start filing. So now that that's dry, I'm just gonna go in with my 100-100 file and just neaten them up.
Then next what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the Tornado bit by um, Nobu. This is like a five in one bit so as you get f further to the bottom of the bit um, obviously it gets coarser. So I use this to just neaten up my application and also to seal around the cuticle area as well. So this is the point when you want to keep an eye on your structure, your side profile, obviously any um, adjustments you want to make, obviously this is the time to do that. Then next I'm just going to grab our buffing block and I'm just going to give them a buff now. And there we go and now i'm ready for my design and um, what i always like to do before i do french uh, this is just a preference is to just give them a top coat first just because i find that i can get the lines a little bit crisper So there we go, now that they're top coated, I'm just going to cure those for 60 seconds. So these are the five colours that I'm going to use for the set. So this one is the Pastel V101. Then I've got Pink Ribbon. Then Sunshine. Cockatoo. And Water Lily. So I'm just going to go ahead now and do the French design.
So now that they're done, I'm just gonna pop those to cure for 60 seconds. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in the little hearts on the corner. So I'm gonna grab uh, my dotting tool. I've just decanted a little bit of white um, and I'm just gonna add the hearts in. So just do two little dots with the dotting tool like that. And then grab my fine liner. Just want a little bit of the white gel on the fine liner. And then what I do is I literally just pull down to join both of the uh, dots like that. Like that, and that just makes a little heart that is going to go in the corner, and I will just do the rest of them now. So there you go, they've been cured now, so I'm just gonna give them a top coat. So there you go guys i hope you enjoyed the video like i said in the intro if you have any questions just let me know obviously i will always be on hand to help um even if you just want to drop us a message on instagram we will always be happy to help um so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video please remember to like and subscribe and if you want to follow us on our socials mine is at the nail room by g and nobu's is at nobu sound supplies so yeah have a lovely evening and i will see you guys soon bye